Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. As promised, I was going to give you a little sneak peek into my travel agent training trip coming up at the end of this month. Um, in addition to that, just for watching this, just for being a part of the Infinity Departures Travel Forum group, just for being active, you also um, are going to be receiving a personal, uh, a personal gift from me in travel. Um, so here's a sneak peek of what is going to be happening. So September 26th, I am boarding a cruise ship. And this cruise line is called Paul Gauguin. So I have never ever heard of this cruise ship before I received the email about this fam trip. So a fam trip is a familiarization trip exclusively for travel agents. And this is my favorite, this is my favorite uh, way to learn travel brands. So this is a whole new territory for me. I have not booked much luxury travel in my one and a half years of being a travel business owner. And so I'm, ex I'm super excited to dive into a different type of niche, um, working with perhaps a different demographic, different types of travelers, maybe retirees, um, maybe um, couples who are going on romantic escapes, perhaps honeymoons. I don't know what to expect. So I've been doing my research on this brand, Paul Gauguin. Um, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He's an artist, or was an artist, and um, I, I've been trying to educate myself on him and the cruise brand. And so there's different videos that I've been watching with different pronunciations of his name. So, and the reason why I'm doing a little pre-research on this cruise line and even these destinations is because I want to have a little background so that I go into my classroom or on my workation with a little knowledge and, and confidence, right? And so, um, so Paul Gauguin currently has one ship to my knowledge and um, the sailings are in Tahiti and the Society Islands. That's one itinerary and that's the one that I am going to be on along with my business partner Kyra Harris who's another agent out of Houston. Um, and so there's a few other itineraries and so on our itinerary we're going to be doing seven nights on this cruise ship and these islands include hold on let me pull up our itinerary so and again I'm not going to be able to pronounce these correctly so day one we are going to be in so we embark in Papiete which that is where we are flying into um, it's a non-stop flight from San Francisco to Papiette, or Papiette, which is um, Tahiti. And that's about an eight to an eight and a half hour non-stop flight from San Francisco. Of course, I've got to get from San Francisco, I've got to get to San Francisco from here, which is um, Tampa. Um, so I'm actually going to be doing, I'm going to be staying two nights. Kyra and myself are going to be meeting in San Francisco. We're going to stay two nights there so that we can explore San Francisco because I've never been. So that's before we get on our long haul. So on the 26th is day one and we embark out of Papiette. Uh, the 27th is day two and that's Huahini. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It sounds pretty. Um, day three, September 28th is Taha. Day four and five, we have two days in Bora Bora. So uh, Kyra and I have not decided if we're gonna stay on the ship overnight while we're docked there or if we're going to get perhaps an overwater bungalow or something. We haven't decided yet, but we've got a little bit of time. October 1st, um, Morea is going to be our port and we're actually there for an overnight as well. And then we return back to Papiat, Tahiti. And then we'll be leaving that evening back to San Francisco. We're going to get rid of our jet lag for one night there and then come back here to Tampa. So I'm super excited. I have to tell you guys, I never thought in a million years that I was going to have an opportunity to see French Polynesia, these beautiful islands, Tahiti, Bora Bora. Like this is nuts. And so I wanted to just share the excitement with you and explain to you a little bit of what a fam trip is. And so this is kind of going to be our classroom. This beautiful, beautiful place in French Polynesia is going to be our classroom. 
I guess um, we're celebrating um, 11 years of Paul Gauguin cruises. Um, it is an award-winning luxury cruise ship. I have seen all of their awards and they have a ton of awards and they're very consistent with maintaining the status of these, these awards. Um, so they, they, uh, they tailor their cruise experience and their itineraries around French Polynesia, Fiji, and the South Pacific. This renowned five-star MS Paul Gauguin was built specifically to sail the waters of Tahiti, French Polynesia, and the South Pacific, and is the longest continually operating luxury cruise ship in this enhancing destination. Um, it's specifically designed to sail these shallower waters, and they also, um, all of the big, large, large cruise ships that I've been on, like in the Caribbean and stuff like that, uh, we port at like a real port and stuff like that. These ships, this ship in particular uses a tender, which is the back of it kind of opens up and so you disembark the cruise ship that way and then you take like a smaller vessel to the actual island because the waters are so shallow. Um, so that was kind of interesting. And so yeah, there um, there's two new ships. The two new ships are due for delivery in 2022. Um, so that's probably something we're going to learn about during this this fam trip is maybe about these two new ships. Um, they are super small compared to ships that I've been on on Carnival Norwegian that can hold thousands and thousands of passengers. This ship is about 230 guests. That is the capacity and the staff to guest ratio is very intimate. It's like one staff per two guests. It's, it's very nice. The cuisine looks amazing. Um, the cabins look amazing. I am super excited. I can't wait. And again, um, thank you for watching and I just wanted to bring this excitement to you. And if you are interested in luxury travel or if you're interested in some of these islands that I will be visiting, um, stay tuned for all of the exposure um, that I will be bringing you. If you, you know, if you ever find yourself in a spot where you would like to visit one of these places, you know, of course reach out to me so that I can come to you with some of the, some, some packages and some pricing and stuff like that. So I do know after researching the consumer cost on these cruise ships, a seven day sailing um, ranges from like five to seven thousand dollars. Some of those do include airfare to Los Angeles um, round trip and of course it includes all of your food all of your drinks um, your your port expenses taxes and gratuities um, but that is a large price tag and this is why I said I would never have thought I would have had the opportunity to do something like this because I for one, I'm not a luxury traveler, so I'm already going to be out of my element. And number two, I could never see myself spending that type of money. But there are people out there who are members of this cruise line, and there are people out there who dream of doing something like this, um, and they can afford it, and it's like nothing to them. Or there's people that save for a whole decade to do something like this. Um, that part I understand, and so, the more I can learn about this brand hands-on and, and share these experiences to potential clients, it just it adds a little bit more value to my brand of Infinity Departures and my travel. So that is enough of me babbling for now. Thanks again for being a follower in this group and I hope you guys enjoy my gift to you. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.